One of the best offenses in Madden every single year is Gun Bunch tight end. Now, we're going to be looking at this formation today, specifically out of the New York Jets offensive playbook. It's very similar to what's in, I believe, Green Bay Packers offensive playbook. And we're going to be taking a look at how you defend formations similar to Bunch tight end. Bunch tight end is very similar to defending trips tight end in terms of its alignment and what is going to be really effective against it. But one of the big differences from uh, trips tight end is that bunch tight end is a compressed formation. And so it's a little bit more difficult, in my opinion, to defend uh, like you would from trips. But there are some unique advantages as well. And so there's just some pros and cons. So we're going to get into this. I'm going to show you uh, a couple of different things in terms of what makes bunch tight end really effective. And then we're going to kind of talk about, you know, just kind of standard defense. So uh, real quick, I'm just going to come out in a, in a standard dollar defense. No big deal. If you guys want to get all of my offensive and defensive ebooks, they are available by joining our school community. I'll put a link to that in the description for just $10. You'll get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks, both for Madden and for NCAA uh, college football. So if you want to get access to all of that stuff, link is going to be down below. Now, we are in dollar. Again, I got a full ebook on this that sh really dives deep into why this defense is the best defense in the game and how to run it against everything. But I want to talk specifically about why bunch tight end is good. So the biggest reason why bunch tight end is good is because it's essentially a, like a tight formation, but it's bunched up. And so because it's bunched up, you can run three-level flood combinations to the short side or to the wide side, depending on how you want to run it. So a play like X spot here is a really good setup. And essentially you're just going to be able to flood the zones on that bunch side all day long. Also, you can play kind of that two man game that was really good from trips tight in. You can play that two man game from bunch tight in. And I'll show you some other ways that people are running bunch tight in that really has never been true, but is actually really good now. So a lot of people that run bunch tight in are now running at wide side because of the use of this double corner play. So the way the double corner play is gonna work is with Hot Route Master or Slot Apprentice, you are gonna be able to essentially set up your double corner. And what you'll see here is this gets really good spacing and you're gonna be able to really attack kind of that left sideline from the wide side. It's one of the best double corner setups in the entire game. The other advantage of running your bunch to the wide side of the field here is that this is going to also do a really, really good job of allowing you to flood the zones on the right side. So again, kind of back to that tight end analogy here, we can run a lot of two-man games with our tight end, right? Like some corners, some essential simple high-low reads here and get the running back isolated against a linebacker. That's one of them. Another thing that makes bunch tight end good, and this is something that has made bunch tight end really good for a long time, is it does a really good job of manipulating cover three and cover four coverages. The reason that bunch tight end is going to do such a good job of manipulating cover three and cover four coverages is because it has the play PA boot over. PA boot, PA boot over allows you to utilize a deep post route from a compressed alignment, which also allows you to put a streak on the field like this, and this is going to absolutely destroy cover three coverage. So it's hard to run cover three against bunch tight end because so often you're going to get a one play score. You have to kind of worry a little bit about P boot over. Another thing that's been good in a uh, bunch tight end for a long time is really just this simple, um, you know, kind of slant post concept. That's really good out of trips tight end, but it's also really good out of bunch tight end because you're able to have this super deep post route. You're also a little bit more compressed. So the routes will get across the field quicker and this tight, end, this tight end apprentice post is one of the best routes from bunch tight end as well. So now in terms of who's the problem player, right? This is something that you need to ask no matter really what formation that you're trying to stop. In my opinion, bunch tight end, typically it's going to be the slot receiver in the bunch. And the reason why I say that is if you look at the play curl flat corner, this guy is the guy that's on the corner route. If you look at the play P boot over, this guy's the guy that's on the crossing route. So if they want to run kind of a standard bunch tight end, you really do have to kind of watch out for that triangle receiver because a lot of times he's going to come open. But again, you see one of the disadvantages of bunch tight end is crossing routes are not as good as they are from other formations. And oftentimes you're able to stop it with just a simple baseline press quarter, kind of like you can out of trips tight end. This is why I say, Bunch tight end and trips tight end are similar 
uh, just in terms of how we're going to be able to defend them. And I'm going to get into a couple of defensive strategies here for you. But uh, first and foremost, that's kind of like why bunch tight end is good. The other big player that I would say, you, the other thing you need to kind of be aware of is there are some there are some plays out of bunch tight end that's going to have the, the real underrated thing is everybody's on a deep corner. So like triple out, for example, this is one of the best double Mabel beaters in the game. This corner route will get over the top of a 30 yard cloud. And if you run it like this, this can also kind of be a cover three or cover four bomb. And I'll show kind of what that would look like. So you see here, if you get enough time, this could actually bomb cover three, cover four to that left-hand side if they motion out that comeback. So triple out's been one of the best plays in Madden ever since it's been put into the game. And you have to kind of account for that. So they have a couple, little bit of a recap here. They have triple out, which is that corner to that inside trips receiver which is really good specifically against cover four uh, or a 30 and five Mabel coverage. And I'll show that real quick. So the other real big advantage of triple out, one of the things that a lot of people, myself included, like to do to try to defend bunch tight in is they love to try to basically play double flat or double Mabel. The problem with this is against a play like triple out this, uh, all you have to do is streak this guy, and if you have a good free form, this is going to be a dot over the top of the 30-yard cloud. And so it's hard to defend this formation. The other thing that you can do, which a lot of people that run bunch tight end don't know about, is this hot route master corner. So this slot apprentice or hot route master corner is really good if they're starting to maybe try to like, you know, essentially get you to guess what they're doing. And maybe they're playing cover three because cover three would stop that corner route to the left, but it won't stop the short corner, right? So you see you get this really nice kind of ability to attack the left side. So to recap, what are the strengths of bunch tight end? Number one, I think it beats man coverage pretty good. It's kind of similar to tight. It's hard to play just straight up man to man against bunch tight end because of the compressed, the compressed nature of the formation and also the fact that you have a play like PA boot over where you could just run a lot of man beating routes and be very, very good against man coverage. So that's one of the strengths. The second strength, in my opinion, is the fact that you have a lot of different corner routes that you can utilize to be able to attack defenses such as triple out, uh, which is a really, really good route to this circle receiver. Then you have curl flat corner, which is a really good route to the slot receiver. And then you can even get into a play like if you really if you didn't have hot route master, you could get into a play like mesh where you have kind of that that outside player on a corner. So the point I'm trying to make is everybody can run a corner on the bunch side. I think that's a super big and underrated reason. So like if I came out like this is a great example. So like if I came out in mesh here, now I have this corner to the outside player. And if I have a slot apprentice, right, I can run double corner this way. So if I wanted to you'll see here, this is more of a wide side variation, but you see, and the spacing is not as good as it is from curl flat, but you see when you still kind of manipulate and call cover, uh, double corner. So we have a mesh corner, we have a curl flat corner, and we have a triple out corner, and of course we have an X-spot corner. Also we have, you know, the ability to, but the only, this is really important. Typically the only player that's gonna run like a deep crosser, unless they have slot apprentice, is gonna be the slot receiver right here. So to me, the two big players you need to watch out for in this formation is the slot and the tight end, all right? And the tight end mainly because he'll be on that tight end apprentice post. He'll be on that tight end apprentice corner. And that's kind of the main things that you need to watch out with uh, from bunch tight end. So we're getting a, a couple of defenses for it and over in a general kind of umbrella of like, okay, this is how we're going to align. This is the best alignment for, for, for bunch tight end. And these are ultimately probably the most effective coverage adjustments. So in my opinion, the best alignment for defending bunch tight end and the best overarching strategy for defending bunch tight end is ultimately to utilize a baseline defense. And so what we're going to do here in our coaching adjustments is we are going to have our auto flip off and we're going to have our auto limit on base. The reason for auto flip off is due to the fact that we're going to uh, be able to blitz out of this out of this look. If we want to run any of the dollar blitzes, we're going to primarily focus this video on coverage adjustments for this formation. But you can mix in some sin five, some sin four, 
And then from our the the other thing that I really suggest, I don't like zone drops for a bunch tight end generally. If I do, it's going to be a 20 to 25 yard curl flat. And the reason why I don't really value zone drops is because the best way to defend bunch tight end is really to utilize a cover three cloud type of approach because of the compressed nature of the formation, because of the main thing that you have to worry about. So what we're going to do is if you take a look here in our audibles, we're going to have DB fire two, we're going to have cover three cloud, and we're going to have cover six. So the main thing here with this is as you notice on your screen, this cover three cloud show two is the wrong, like it's rolling the wrong way, all right? Which is super important to, to kind of cover, and we will certainly dive into this. So we're typically gonna be coming out in free safety zone blitz, and then audibling into everything else that we wanna do from this. So what you'll see is we'll audible into like whatever else we wanna run, okay? Now, the main thing that I want to say in terms of how to slow down bunch tight end is you have to have a plan for the corner routes to the left side. My main strategy for defending the corner routes to the left side is to utilize a cover three cloud approach. So we're going to audible to cover three cloud, and then we're going to flip the play, and then we're going to press, pinch line, crash down, Blitz our linebacker like so. And this, by and large, will defend the majority of bunch tight end users in the game. If you want to use a 30-yard, 25-yard curl flat, you certainly can. Now, the big thing that I want to say here is make sure you're outside quartering on the tight end side. What that's going to do is it's going to take away any tight end corner. It's going to take away, it's going to take away all kind of stuff. So this is one of the easiest methods to defending bunch tight end. I don't think you really, I mean, I would probably vert hook here. I don't feel like you really have to have a hard flat. I don't feel like the flat routes and bunch tight end are really that good. But what this coverage is going to do, if you just call this defense right here, I know it seems simple. This is going to do a really good job against double corner. This is why I call this. So if this neutralizes the left side, and I'll show you. So you see here that cloud's going to defend the short corner, and the deeper corner is going to get defended by the outside third. And again, Ideally, we have a deep zone knockout on that player. Now, let's say you wanted a simpler approach that did not require you to, uh, you know, flip plays and stuff like that. You just wanted to adjust out of free safety zone blitz. You certainly can do that. My favorite way to do that, if we understand double corner, we understand what is going on with double corner. The main thing we need to be prepared to defend is the short corner. So what we're going to do to defend that is we are going, so that we know the outside third is gonna take the deeper corner, right? So what I like to do here is just double flat to the right. This is where the 30 yard purple would be really effective. And then on the left side here, we're actually gonna go through and play a coverage like this. I think this is a really good defense for bunch tight end. Now, let's say you're watching this and the, the, only, the only thing I, 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 would, I would say is you could also back this guy off and run the coverage like this if you wanted to that's perfectly fine as well but just mabeling the bunch side is really helpful uh just because it's going to stop all the corner routes right even if they because you always want a third or a quarter to stop triple out so if they stay compressed like this and they run triple out that outside third is going to go get the deeper corner and then the purple is going to go get that corner right there which is what we want to have happen again we would need a 20 yard curl flat so let me just go in my coaching adjustments and put that on because we don't really need our curl flats for anything else uh, in terms of defending this, this, this offense. So, again, you want this at about 20, 25 yards. If, they're, if the corner route's really getting over the top, you might need a 25-yard. But generally speaking, this is going to be my main uh, defense for this. And, again, if you wanted to, you could back this slot corner off and then just hard flat the linebacker, which would allow you to – create a really good cover two to that tight inside and then allow you to kind of be a middle read player in the middle of the field. So again, I said, this is one of my favorite methods for defending double corner because all you have to worry about here is really the short corner. Uh, and this, and this, this curl flat, you see how it's going to make him hold it for just a minute. A lot of times that's going to be plenty to stop it in the event that that does not stop it. The one thing I will say is if you put the safety in the purple, 
then you can just shade outside and basically run a cover three like so. The big thing here is you need to be ready for that tight end corner. So the way that I like to defend the tight end corner is just leave this seam flat or leave this purple. Uh, why? It's a 25, 20-yard purple. It's going to go get the tight end corner. So if they do run double corner, you're taking the, the underneath stuff here. But in general, you see how that safety is going to hold him, make him throw that into a tighter window. Now let's say that they motion out and... You know, basically, they're trying to set up this triple out bomb. So the easiest thing, in my opinion, um, to take this away, there's a couple different methods. One of the things I like to do is simply put a deep half and back this guy off. Something simple like that. And you're still sending a lot of pressure, so they can, you know, basically just get neutralized that way. But what you'll see is if you back off that outside third, you see, I mean, just by putting a deep half, Wide side deep halves are really good. So another thing that I like to do against bunch tight end, and it's really simple, but it is really effective against triple out specifically. It only works if they're wide side. It does not work if they're short side, but a 30 and a five Mabel. So what does a 30 and five Mabel do for you? Well, you can run something simple like this. This is going to stop a lot of bunch tight end players. And the reason why this is going to stop bunch tight end players is because the wide side deep half will be in the perfect spot. It, it, it will be able to defend this deep, this deep triple out. So you see here, although that looks kind of open, the KO will go KO that. Now, if that was short side, the deep half would get manipulated a little bit more by, uh, by that other defender. This is also kind of a similar defense we have for trips, which is the flip cover six with the back off. Again, if you need, if they're not backing off, then all you need to do is just, um, all you need to do is base line twice, and then he will be able to back off for you. And you'll see here, this is going to do a really good job. You see that that deep half will be able to go make a catch tackle, and that's going to be a KO most of the time. So those are some of my favorite methods for kind of defending wide side bunch tight end. Now, the reason I'm talking about wide side is because the reason they would be running wide side bunch tight end typically is going to be to attack the wide side or to bomb you. So the way that we stop the bomb here, uh, which the bomb typically looks something like this, actually. So the way that we stop the bomb is actually through the utilization of an inside quarter or a deep half. So we're going to quarter this guy you know, again, back to that idea of a wide side, you know, Mabel like this. Okay. So the reason you have the quarter there and what you'll see is that inside quarter, if you look there, see how that post is running right into that position and he's going to take it away. So the biggest way to stop the bunch tight end bomb is, to use, is through the utilization of an inside quarter which kind of leads me to a couple of other things I wanted to talk about in terms of, you know, how, again, this kind of similar to trips, but how do I adjust, you know, once they start to go short side and try to flood you to the left, I'll talk about that. And then we'll also kind of cover a couple of the other PA boot over setups. So one of the best PA boot over setups is, is really this, or it's, you know, basically this, because it looks just like triple out. So if they're trying to show you, if they're trying to do something like this, the best way to stop the crossing route is an outside quarter. The best way to stop the bomb is a inside quarter. And then on the left side, we would want to be in basically this coverage. So now again, if, and that's if you have a 30 and five, if you don't have a 30 and five, then you, know, you could easily just run a basic cover two or even send heavy pressure. You know, something like this is perfectly fine. Uh, but the biggest thing I want to show with this is just like in trips tight in, if they try to run a crossing route against that quarter, you'll never give that up. That quarter will always play the crosser. So you don't have to worry about that. The only thing you have to worry about on the right side of the screen is a corner route to the tight end, which is why you put that 30 yard curl flat there. And now I don't care what they have. You'll see right here. See how he plays him? He's like right there to play him. Normally, he will play that route. Now, if you want to send pressure, you can audible to DB fire. And then what I would tell you is to go ahead and just inside quarter that tight inside safety. So we know we're sending heavy pressure. 
We know we're going to get really good pressure here. And then what this is going to do is it will leave the crossing route open, but this bomb proofs, this bomb proofs you. So you see here, see how we're really not bomb, you know, we're completely bomb proof with that inside quarter. And then the deep crosser is really not going to give us a ton of issues because we can just go user it because we have that vert hook underneath for any of the underneath stuff. So that's a big, big point in terms of, you know, our capability to be able to defend bunch tight end. Another super simple way to defend bunch tight end that I like is we're going to send uh, some, some pressure at it. So what we're going to do is we're going to press, pinch our D-line, we're going to blitz that left side slot, and we're going to play cover two to the left and cover three to the right. Now, I typically will run it just like this with the 20-yard curl flat. If you don't like to run it like this, what you can do is you can run a hard flat or one of the things that I like is a vertical hook shaded underneath, and then you just recloud that right side guy. The reason this is really effective is that shaded down vert hook will stop the running back wheel. It'll stop the running back Texas route, and this blitz will scream pretty much the majority of the time. It allows you to go user kind of that left-hand side, which I think is super good. Another defense that I really like out of this kind of free safety zone blitz mentality is more of a cross manny or man-to-man -man version that I do think is really good. Now, again, I said, I said in the beginning I believe this. I do think bunch tight end as a whole, as a formation, is really good against man coverage. That being said, there are some times where I think man coverage is really good to mix in. So the way we're going to mix man coverage in is we're going to man up the slot corner on the slot receiver. We're going to take the safety and we are going to essentially cross man him onto the tight end. We're going to take the linebacker and we're going to man him up on the outside bunch receiver. We're going to take the safety on the right and we're going to cross man him onto the inside bunch receiver. And then really from there, we can kind of craft our coverage however we want. I typically just leave it basically like this. If you wanted to man up the running back, be my guest to do that. But I think this little kind of cross man style of defense, I really like the quarter or the third on the right. And then this is just, it's a very confusing coverage to beat. And the thing that I like about this is even if you get like that skinny post, you have inside leverage on the skinny post with the linebacker being manned up to him. So you'll see here that skinny post is not really that open. And again, if you're an ultimate team where the speeds are a little bit more even, that's going to be guarded. The other thing you can do if you are worried about kind of that is you could go with a secondary variation where we're only going to cross man the left. So the way we're going to do that is we're still going to man up one of these players with that slot corner. We're going to man up this guy here and we're going to man this guy up here and just run the defense like this, which I think is perfectly fine as well. And you can run a cover three to one side, a cover two to one side, and then you have all those guys on the left manned up. I think mixing in these man ups are really situationally very effective because if they're not careful, they'll put everything on the field to beat your zones. And then you call this cross man defense and it's it's pretty baggy. It's pretty it's pretty effective in my opinion. So that is another uh, method that you can do. Uh, one other thing that I did want to say is you can always call this cover three cloud. There's nothing wrong with this. I will say this outside third, I don't know that it does a lot of things for you in the defense. I would probably rather this be flipped so that this outside third could actually help you over here. And then you could just do something as simple as hard flat, cloud flat, and then uh, you have this three rec defender and you just pinch crash down. This coverage defense is really good for bunch tight end. There's really not a lot of stuff they can do. There are really not a lot of, not of areas in which you are vulnerable. And then if you wanted to, you could actually turn this into this variation, which I think is perfectly fine as well. Super good coverage defense for this formation. So those are the main methods that I utilize to defend bunch tight end in Madden. If you guys want to get access to all of my Madden and NCAA offensive and defensive eBooks, you get all of them for just $10 by being a member over on our school community page. The link to sign up for that is down in the description. So you can click that and we'll see you over at the page.